Welcome back to Nottingham on a beautiful Monday afternoon, two days after I've returned from uh, southern Scotland and um, I was very interested to film plants that appear to be the same or similar to the willow herb that I found uh, last Thursday and I said that this was a mystery willow herb. Well, this is what people have suggested and what I thought this willow herb might be. It's codlins and cream, great willow herb, and I have to say that it's about five feet tall. And it, um, to be honest, if you compare these flowers with the ones that I filmed last Thursday, you'll see that they're much, much paler in colour and the plant is much taller and less hairy so I hold by my original view that the plant I filmed last Thursday is not greater willow herb or otherwise known as codlins and cream. Uh, the flowers on this I would say are slightly larger but they're much paler in colour and the seed pods are much paler in colour and much longer. Anyway, I'll go and show you another willow herb that's growing very close to here now. Um, Rose Bay willow herb fireweed. And see what that looks like now. And this is fireweed, Epilobium angustifolium. And you can just see how much seed this plant has set. It's absolutely covered in seed. I've never seen so much seed set on a rose bay willow herb like this. It's incredibly impressive. And if I take the seeds off, you can see that they're parachutes and they just float away. You can just see if I disturb some, look at them go. Look at them go. And so this plant is extremely common. It's known as fireweed and it comes up where there have been fires. So. You know there's been all these fires all over the country, so I wonder what will be growing up in the spaces where those fires have been. Anyway, this is fireweed. Another great willow herb here. Um, beautiful in colour, flowers large but very pale. Still not convincingly the same as the flower I saw last Thursday. And growing by the side of the Lake of Colic, we have all these um, plants which are clearly uh, great willow herb or codlins and cream, that's Epilobium hirsutum. All these plants are identical in terms of size and colour. None of them have very deep coloured flowers at all. They're all fairly pale pink and pretty large flowers as you'd expect for this species. Again, all pretty typical Epilobium hirsutum, large flowers, long seed pods, and really tall. A really nice patch here of skullcap scutellaria, um, which uh, has, with its relatives, some quite um, strong and medicinal properties um, as an adaptogen in fact. Don't know whether this particular variety does though, probably not. Finally I wanted to show you um, greater willow herb, Epilobium hirsutum, growing together with fireweed, Epilobium angustifolium. And there's no doubt in my mind that if these plants are growing together they could hybridize. So it's quite interesting none of these greater willow herbs have released any seeds yet on any plants that I've just been looking at this afternoon whereas the greater sorry the rose bay willow herb the fireweed has uh, mm. released seed. I think it's possible that these plants are hybridizing in this situation and that they can give rise to other kinds of plants that we know nothing about um, and we certainly wouldn't be able to identify them with any degree of certainty and that's possibly what the plant on the Berwickshire coastal walk was um, but these plants are all very have the same coloured flowers they're very bland there's very little variation um, 
as can be seen yet, but they're growing together. Um, I will post details of how epilobiums may hybridize and hybridization is a mechanism of survival and I talked about that in my videos on dactylariza orchids growing at uh, King's Meadow in Nottingham. Hybridization seems to be the order of the day and <clears throat> these plants, these uh, uh, great willow herb plants have quite large flowers. They're not as large as the fireweed. Um, the fireweed flowers are there, but most of them have gone over now. But um, I'm going to be looking at hybridization in wildflowers in much more detail over the next few weeks and months because I think it's important as a survival strategy uh, in, env in environmental change. And I want to look at this in some detail, but I don't think there's been a huge amount published on it yet. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.